Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back. In today's video, we are going to work on the card page and on the uh, card side menu in uh, WooCommerce using the JetWoo Builder plugin. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to achieve this. Um, this is a series on a WooCommerce a JetWoo Builder series. So uh, yeah, if you want to hop along, make sure to check the playlist and the previous videos. We have been working on the shop page and the singular product pages there. So today we're going to focus only on the basket. So right now, if we click on the basket, we have this sidebar pop up right here and it looks kind of ugly. And if we go to view cart, then we can see that this is our cart and our headers overlapping and the styling is just not exactly as we want it to be. So we are going to change that around. So how do we do this? First of all, let me pick my dashboard. And what you need to have is a plugin installed, which is the JetWubill plugin and also Elementor Pro. That is something that you definitely need. So we're gonna work with the JetWoo Builder and with Elementor Pro. Okay, I am a bit sick by the way. So uh, if you hear me sniffing a couple of times, uh, it's because yeah, I, uh, I have cold, but no. Uh, Nonetheless, let's move on. So what we need to do first of all is uh, let's fix the header, which is right here. So basically, uh, yeah, we're going to do the side menu. So the widget that I use in the header is the uh, menu cart. So if we click on it, it will expand and we can see how this looks. Now I don't really like this. So let's do some minor, but still quick changes. We need to click on cards right here and close cards all right let's go with the title of the product so product title let's pick a nice little Montserrat font we're gonna pick the blue color and then we have the variation one times or the singular price is fine uh, the subtotal is also fine for me. I kind of like it. So let's just add it the button So we're gonna click on buttons and I want this to have you know exactly as this here by now But instead of inline, I want to have them stacked. I like this view a bit better. So the typography is gonna be Montserrat Montserrat there we go and then we're gonna go in view card the text color will remain white while this will be blue amazing let's do the same for the checkout so we're gonna say Montserrat we're gonna say text color white and we're gonna say this to blue yeah that looks perfect I'm not gonna do too much to this so let's update it and let's see what we get view page here's the home page and now it looks like this which is amazing yeah let's keep it at that all right so if you click on view cards we have the card page with the, which is uh, absolutely horrific to look at so um, I'm going to show you how to fix this so go back to your dashboard and click on uh, let me see croco block full page builder click on create new template and you want to click on cart and then we're just gonna say cart so this is template name, you can basically name this whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it cards. So let's create this template. Let's wait for it to load. And let's see what cool things we are able to work with. So we can already see a couple of widgets here. Before we're gonna do that, I want to add in one little section that says cards. So I'm gonna say minimal height. I'm gonna give this a blue color and I'm gonna add some little bit of margin there we go and let's make this 200 height and add a heading in here that says cart i'm gonna make this white and i'm gonna say montserrat montserrat there we go cart all right amazing now let's add a new section and basically we're going to add our cards uh, uh tables in here so what do we have we have let me see car empty message car return to shop car table and car totals 
the first thing what we want to do is add in the cards table as this is literally the table that we are going to show to the uh, user uh, what they have in their basket obviously so now this is kind of straightforward you have your remove button to remove it from it thumbnail to see what it looks like the title the price the quantity so you can still update your cards and also a coupon if you need it now if you want to change something around you can also hide the coupons and you can also say update cards automatically so it doesn't need a button but the reason you want to disable this is if people make a mistake uh, you have to ship your products back so let's say i uh, accidentally updated my cards to two items but i want one i need to ship one back which is just a hassle i don't want to go through so this will stay as it is coupon is going to be like this now let's do something about the styling first of all do a little bit of montserrat there we go uh what's this that's the color of the title we're gonna leave it a black the background type is going to be like a little bit grayish let me see like this this is perfect all right the border type we're gonna say solid with a width of one and it's going to be completely white so i have a style in my head and i think it's gonna look pretty nice but i'm not sure <laughs> so we'll see um table heading i already changed it let's do table cell all right the background color we're gonna do exactly the same with a singular uh border type oh or white there you go all right that's great table cells we're also gonna use the montserrat font montserrat font there we go that's fine. Now we go to thumbnail. We don't need to change this. The product title, we do want to change this. So we're going to say Montserrat. And we need to pick up the blue color. So it looks like this. Uh, we can also just use a black one. Yeah, let's do a black one. And then we're going to make it have an underline. So we know that it's a product. Price only the font Montserrat. There we go. Uh, quantity is basically fine, but I want to have no border. So sometimes what happens that you just saw me do is we don't have a border type, but still it has a border by default. What you need to do then is click on solid and select zero and the border goes away, which is amazing. Now let's also pick Montserrat font here. Let's scroll down to the total uh which is price maybe no let's just keep going with this uh the remove button all right uh if we hover over we have a really ugly background i don't want that if we hover over it i want it to be a bit more by red as you can see no maybe the other way around so this one is going to be light red and when we select it, it's going to be dark. Yeah, there we go. Um, let's go over the update button. And now I want to change this around a little bit. So I'm going to say Montserrat. Uh, all right, that's a good font. We're going to make it. You know what? We're going to make it a blue color and the background color is going to be white exactly like this and then we're gonna say the border radius is zero so that we have like a really square one and i only want the weight to be way lower like this far and this is perfect and the same for the coupons so coupon form let's make the button also a montserrat font with a a blue font color a white background no border radius and the font size of 400 and for the input we're also gonna pick Montserrat <coughs> also gonna pick Montserrat 
um and let's remove only the border and now i want to increase the width a little bit so we can see actually everything oh that was the button let me reset this the width let's just put it at 125 pixels all right so that is our table which looks quite nice if you ask me uh, we have everything that we need so we're gonna save the draft now what else can we add here uh, we can add a card totals. So we're gonna pick two section or two column section with a minimal height of 400 pixels. And I'm gonna add in the card totals. So the card totals are now on the page. So you can hide the, um, the heading or you can just change it around. I'm gonna keep it, uh, I'm gonna, um, I'm not gonna hide it. The reason why you wanna hide it is maybe if you wanna have a custom heading here uh, with a different text. Whoops. Uh, but I don't wanna do that, so uh, I'm not gonna hide it. So the typography of the heading, um, we're gonna set this back and I'm only gonna pick a Montserrat. And as you can see, we have a total and a subtotal. It also automatically increases if you have shipping costs. It's gonna add up to here. So great. Uh, let's do the same for the table headings. So we're gonna say a white background. There we go. That looks amazing. And let's put this at Montserrat as well. There we go, that's gonna look like something. Table cell, background type, color, border type, solid of one pixel with a white color. Amazing. That looks already fine to me. The only thing I wanna add it is the proceed to check in button. So, button. Let's say font is Montserrat. And let's make it like 400 with the color is going to be white, not blue, white. The background color is going to be blue. And then the border radius is zero. And if we hover over it, the color is going to be blue. The background color is going to be white. And we're going to say a border type of one width with the blue color. So now we have a nice little... Proceed to check out now, that looks amazing. I'm gonna save this draft. So now we actually have everything that you need on the card page, you know, there is not much that we else could uh, use. Now, um, if you want to work with a high conversion rate or you want to try to sell more items, this is definitely the place for it. So what you can do here is you can add multiple products in this other uh, other section that we still have so we can make a product grid right and we can add the products to you know maybe trigger uh, our user so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the home page and I'm simply gonna copy paste this over the most sold section we also already covered this in another video I'll put the link in the description below for you guys. So scroll down, copy this and paste it in the cart. There we go. And instead of four items, I want to have maybe two. And there we go. That looks amazing. And with that, we have our cart. So I'm only going to add a heading. what is happening i'm gonna copy the heading over paste it down here make it a black color drag it on top and then we say uh most you might like uh yeah let's do this you might like let's save the draft 
All right, so now this looks fine for me. This is how we make the card page and I'm not gonna add it, anything else to it. So we're gonna publish this. We're gonna exit to WordPress dashboard and we're gonna click on WooCommerce and settings. From there, we're gonna click on the Jet Woo Builder and then we're gonna go to the cart section. Enable custom cards and we're gonna say cart. Now, now you see that we also have a empty cart template. So we still need to make that. So we're gonna make that really fast and really easy. We can do that by going to the Croco Block Woo Page Builder, create a new template, add cart and name this empty shopping cart. And create the template so what I'm gonna do here is just a really simple and easy message so I'm gonna drag in a heading hover and we're gonna make it grow amazing let's publish this Go back to the dashboard, WooCommerce, settings, chat wool builder. Scroll down to the card section. Where is it? Cards and we say empty card template is our empty shopping cart. And we're gonna click on save changes. And now if we finally go to the website, you can see we have one item in our basket. So let's view the card to see what exactly it is. And now there is one issue. We see that this is not a full width, um, full width uh, uh, template. So we need to edit the cart once more. You can leave it as it is if you like it. I personally don't like it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on settings, template layout and make it a full width. Now let's update this. And let's go back to the website and see what it looks like. The card now looks like this, which is perfect. You might like, and now we have some products here. All right, great. And now what happens if the card is empty? Let's click on view cards. Let's remove this. And let's reload the page. We can see, oops, your shopping cart is empty. Start shopping and it will take it to our shop, which is perfect and everything that we wanted for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know. Uh, if I can help you with anything else, please let me know. And if you have any recommendations for future videos, also let me know. Um, I'm already working on the ideas for the next project. It's going to be a hotel booking with appointment setting um, website. Styling is going to be predefined. The only thing that we're gonna add is the dynamic stuff, just as we did with the car rental. So stay tuned for that if you want to see more. Um, for now, hope you guys enjoy and I will see you in the next video. So take care and bye bye.